Okay, so now that the specimens are sufficiently relaxed to be able to move them, I'm going to go ahead and wick some of the water off here. It's very, very important that you do this in a very particular way. You don't want all the water uh, moving the specimen around any more than you have to, so just fold up a chem wipe, touch it to the bottom, and let it wick a bunch of the water off of the slide. You can unfold it, set it over. As long as you don't contact the ribbons, you're generally good to go. If the Kim White and the ribbon touch each other, then chances are good the ribbon's going to stick to the Kim White, and then you'll be SOL for a good slide. Go ahead and pull this off of here now, and I'm just going to tilt it ever so slightly down towards the Kim White. It's not necessary to get all of the water off. Do you go ahead and give the bottom a bit of a wipe, and then I'm going to go ahead and set this over here with these other slides I've already prepared this morning and then let them dry. And it's important that they dry in a dust free environment but yet in a place where they can be aerated. So uh, enter the makeshift drying box. It's just perforated on the bottom on both sides so the air can flow through and yet it provides a dust cover for the slides as they're drying overnight. Let them sit overnight and they should be good for staining in the morning.